Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. We're going to do the same kind of problem here that we did in the last section. We're doing hypothesis testing, small samples dealing with hypothesis testing of means. Um, and, uh, you know, at this point, I think you probably have a decent understanding for how these sorts of problems work. You may not be totally comfortable, you may not be a rock star yet, but you kind of should have a concept. If you're totally lost now, I recommend you go back and watch the last few sections again until at least you get the idea. If you feel like you can, you can do this on your own, Go ahead and pause this now, work it yourself after you see the problem, and then check your answer. Otherwise, just follow along with me and continue building your skills as we go through every one of these problems step by step. All right, so what we have is a pizza chain advertises that they will deliver your pizza in no more than 20 minutes from when you place the order. But you don't believe this and you decide to test it, uh, test this claim at 95% level of confidence. So what you do is you sample seven of your friends and they report that they have an average delivery time of 22.7 minutes with a 4.3 minute standard of deviation. So you want to test the claim and we've already said that we're testing it as a 95% level of confidence. So we have a pizza delivery service, they're advertising 20 minutes or less. You don't think that's the case, so you take seven data points from seven friends and get their answers and now we want to see uh, what the null hypothesis, what the alternate research hypothesis is, and see if we can test it and figure out if we should reject the null hypothesis or keep it. So just like with all of these problems, we want to, first of all, write everything down, the most important thing being the null and alternate hypothesis. It is a mean because we're talking about delivery times, and the null hypothesis saying no, the pizza delivered in no more than 20 minutes, that's another way of saying less than or equal to 20 minutes. Right, 20 minutes or less, that's another way to look at that. If that's the case, then the alternate hypothesis must be that the delivery time is greater than 20 minutes. Together, these are opposites and they include every possible delivery time that you could have. All right? And notice also that because this is a right hand arrow, you automatically know that this is a right tail test. You don't have to understand anything else about this, you know it's going to be a right tail test just because of the sign of the alternate hypothesis or the direction that's pointing. All right, so now we start pulling the information and data out of the problem and write it down. So it says we want to test this. Well, this is our alternate hypothesis. We want to test it um, by asking seven friends. So I only have seven friends, so that's the people I ask, and they report back that their average delivery time, that's X bar, their average delivery time is 22.7 minutes. Okay, and their standard deviation of the answers that we get back from these people is 4.3 minutes. What this basically means is I ask seven of my friends what the delivery time was last time they ordered pizza. Some people say 19 minutes, some people say 20.